Hi, my name is Corey and I am the Business Development Manager at Little Arm Studios. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up your FlySky FST6 controller to work with Zephyr Drone Simulator. Along with your controller, you will receive a USB adapter and four cables. For this controller, you will need the audio cable and the four pin mini DIN adapter. Insert one end of the audio cable into the four pin adapter. Then plug the four pin adapter into the port on the back of your controller. The switch on the left hand side of the USB adapter needs to be set to the Aerofly position to function properly. While holding the USB adapter with the USB port upright, move the switch down to the bottom, then move the switch up one click to the correct position. Place the other end of the audio cable into the USB adapter. Finally, plug the USB adapter into your computer. The next step to set up your controller with Zephyr is calibration. If your controller is not already, turn it on by moving the power switch on the bottom right of the controller to the on position. From the Zephyr main menu, navigate to the calibration screen in the controller settings page of the options menu. In the calibration screen, put the left stick all the way up and use the trim buttons to make adjustments until the white plus intersects with the vertex of the top triangle and the outer circle. Repeat this process for horizontal movement of the left stick, as well as both horizontal and vertical movements of the right stick. Once both sticks are calibrated, you are all ready to run Zephyr with your FlySky FST6 controller.